St. Dominic was born in Calruega, Spain, in 1170. When he was older, he became a canon at the cathedral in Osma. Albigensian was a popular heresy in southern France at this time. They were similar to the Gnostics in beliefs. They rejected the sacraments and even promoted things such as abortion and suicide, and were very hard to rectify. In 1203, Bishop Diego of Osma and his canon Dominic traveled to southern France to help. They stayed there for two years and taught in local universities and preached. Eventually, the bishop left, but St. Dominic stayed. He lived in the monastery where he led preaching crusades against this heresy. Soon, he began a life of poverty. He got more and more followers, which he sent to the University of Paris, and then out to preach with him as well. As I said, the Albigensians were hard to convert. One day, Mary appeared to St. Dominic when he was discouraged, and told him to stay hopeful and pray the rosary. His preaching started to work, and many of the heretics started to convert. Many times, St. Dominic is pictured with the rosary because of this. Although it wasn't as popular as the Franciscans at the time, St. Dominic spent his last years working on forming his order. He traveled all over Italy, Spain, and France, preaching and attracting new members. The Dominicans are also known as the Order of Preachers and were approved in 1216. St. Dominic died August 6, 1221, in Italy. He was canonized the saint in 1231, and his feast day is August 8th. In 1203, Dominic dedicated his life to a new ministry through which he would preach to men and women. It was given the title Order of Preachers. The Dominicans are engaged in various forms of the preaching apostolate, such as specialized retreats, missions, or workshops. Today, Dominicans say that they preach with the sacred scripture in one hand and the newspaper in the other. There are several branches in the Dominican order, all focused on the same charism of St. Dominic, friars, laity, nuns, and sisters. Each ministry is believed valuable, for each allows God's presence to become more evident and celebrated in the world. Friars are brothers and priests who are involved in a variety of ministries. All serve the primary role in ministry of preaching. They dedicate their lives to prayer, study, and community life to carry out the priorities of the order. Laity are men and women who commit themselves through formal profession to the Dominican way of life integrated into their established lifestyles. Nuns are women who live intense lives of prayer in monasteries, profess vows, and participate in the mission of the order. Sisters are women who profess simple vows and live apostolic lives along with prayer and community a part of the Dominican life. The charism of the orders includes prayer, study, works, and community life. Under prayer, they go to daily mass, liturgy of the hours in the morning, evening, and before bed. Scriptures and the rosary are essential elements of the Dominican spirituality, and they usually have a yearly retreat. Under study, to lead the Dominicans to greater truth, they study the scripture, of course, church documents, and writings of saints and theologians. Under works, ministry to the poor, unfortunate, or sick, and they lead the example of a joyful and moral life, eager to witness the good news. Under community, they study and pray together, accept the obligations of belonging to a cohesive group. They are eager to enter into the relationship of brothers and sisters to their father, Dominic. The Dominicans were also called the mendicant orders because they lived by begging. Since the friars were not forced to live in monasteries, they were free to take the gospel into the streets and preach. Dominicans' goal was to imitate Christ in their mission of preaching. 
Remarkable and dedicated Dominicans over eight centuries have continued to be faithful to St. Dominic's vision by striving in a variety of ways to be contemplative preachers at the service of the Church in the proclamation of the Gospel.